hello so in the previous video we had an overview of what are regions in this video we are going to discuss what are blocks and how we can create a simple block so let's get started so regions are where we can put our content as we learn more Drupal in details we'll be able to manage how to create a different kind of content which we can place somewhere so right now we have only created pages another simple way of creating content is by adding blocks or blocks are pieces of content which are either you have from your uh, drupal system generated like for example powered by drupal this is a block this is a drupal generated block which is from there in the system another thing that uh, you can see over here which is uh, logout and my account these two links which are coming this is another block which is a system block fine it shows up over here then uh, this is a menu block a menu block gener gets generated whenever we create a new menu menu i will talk about later on but this is already a predefined system menu whenever we were adding pages and telling it to use the main menu it was showing up over here so this main menu is here there is a search icon fine it is set over here then our title block is there which is set over here then this is the social one and so many other things so basically regions is as i mentioned where we can put different things now the simplest way to put a thing in a region is if a block is available fine so we can create very simple blocks and also interestingly drupal allows you to create block types fine this will be dealing later on this is some a similar concept to content types but coming back to our administration section if we go to structure over here we have a section of block layout now block layout again takes us back to this section demonstrate block region but here you will see something interesting that the name of the block and what block is placed where so first to understand simply like here powered by drupal block is in the footer bottom which we have seen let's exit go back to the site here powered by drupal shows up over here now you can put this block directly anywhere so we'll play around with this powered by drupal for some time which is a system generated block so so many other regions are there right here it says no blocks in these regions in content block main page content block this is a system block you can see. system block there is a help there is a core so we cannot make uh, changes or delete these blocks they will remain we can do some configuration with them so let's shift this powered by drupal to some other area let's say sidebar now you can either drag and drop it over here or you can select it from here where it should go so i will select this and let's place it over here and save it yes we can have multiple blocks in one region that is also allowed so now i have saved this fine once you place a block make sure you come down and save it now let's see and reload our page and you will notice powered by drupal is gone from here and it is showing up in this section fine similarly you can place this powered by drupal block anywhere you like from the block layout area okay so like if powered by drupal we move to some other section let's say where is powered by drupal now this time we'll move it from here let's put it in the social bar let's see what happens it's gone there but i have to save it now i'm going to save this and now let's try now keep in mind not necessary that every region is designed to fit everything fine so let's see what happens Right. it comes up smartly the theme has placed it like this powered by drupal fine so it has fit over here now again let's go back and place the powered by drupal back wherever so powered by drupal 
will put it on footer bottom and let's save this now powered by drupal block should show up back let's reload this page and if you look at it powered by drupal block is back over here in the footer section so that is basically how you can handle the existing blocks now few blocks as i said will be created when we create new menus and other uh, other things but let us say if we wanted to create a block which displays a copyright information or some static information you want to display so what we can do about it so let's go to content under content we have blocks okay now here we don't have any block so let's add this content block this is a predefined one so here i can add a block description now this is compulsory so let's say copyright information over here and here we will put our copyright fine so copyrights 2022-2023 fine so some message we are putting over here and uh, let us save this block now you will notice as compared to a page or article there is no option of path or anything so this is to be saved over here so now we have this particular copyright information block available with us fine now let's go back to our structure block layout and here we will notice that if we wanted to add a block which we have just created fine we will be going to place a block over here the blocks which are of the system and all they are already shown up over here showing up over here now i'll click on place block and here you can search interestingly this one is already coming up directly fine and there are so many other blocks which are there with respect to the system so let's place this block and here a lot of things come up now i will discuss this once we have placed the block what are the things that we can do with the blocks so saved here it is placed here now i will again save it make sure that it is done and now let's go back to our website and over here you will notice that the copyright information block is showing up over here okay so this way we can create a simple block fine like if you wanted to add a twitter feed or something like that you could add it from here fine so we can create blocks like this one simple mechanism later on we'll see how we can create the block types and how auto generated blocks from menus views or some other thing that gets generated how we can use that 